Listen to me. There's a reason why some people are getting in life what you guys are after, but you can't freaking get it. Wake up. Don't play casually anymore. Now listen to me. Some of you, you think this is a hype game? You're stupid. You're stupid, man. I can't even sleep. God gave me a dream just like he gave you one. I ain't taking it out of my head and going back to work and being average. I'm fighting for it. Are you the very best there is? And if you're not, will you become it or will you go and try another job? If you're going to get anything great in this life, you're going to have to become a freaking savage. The first thing to change is to say, I don't care anymore about what anyone thinks about me. I only care about, am I working my plan and am I doing what I want to do? The reason why the 99% don't do it is because it's comfortable to not work your plan. It is very uncomfortable to work your plan because your plan was made to make you successful and only uncomfortable shit being done gets you successful. Uncomfort pays. Comfort kills. Uncomfort pays. Comfort kills. Here's what I'll tell you. I need you to decide today without anyone else around, who are you going to be? What is the plan gonna be? And what's life gonna look like from now on? And you're going to attack. And anybody that aligns with that mission can roll with you. And anybody that doesn't, I'm out. You guys aren't kids anymore. This isn't recess. You're an adult. This is your life. Quit wasting it. Who wants to wait 20 years to get what they want? Or who wants it right now? I believe in the right now. I like fast wins. If you know anything about closers and salespeople, I want it now. I don't want to wait. I don't want to let my family down anymore. Think about this real quick. People move for fear of loss or want for gain. That's it. You're either in this room because you want something and you don't have it. I got more money in the bank than I deserve. And what? How? Dude, listen, my mom left when I was two years old. This isn't a victim story, but I want you to know, in case inside you're counting yourself out right now, you're an idiot. Listen up. People with the highest threshold of pain are capable of handling the most. That's the way this works. Mom rolled out when I was two, five brothers and sister. We were taught to think small. No wealthy people in our family, ever, ever. Two pairs of clothes growing up. Dude, I was taught to think small, and nobody talked to me about this that you're doing in this room. But the day they did, and I got a little bit of that wisdom, I said, dude, it's fucking over, man. I didn't even know this was capable. I didn't know we could do this. And that's why these rooms, listen to me, the decision, where are you at, where you wanna go, what are you willing to sacrifice is what I'm after today. I don't want you to get motivated. Fuck, that only lasts a week and it's over. I want you to create a new mindset. Hijack my thinking. Every one of you, you want it all? Steal the way I think. Take it. You don't have to be me. You just take the way I think. And if you got the balls to steal it, you're going to crush everyone. And you're going to give your family a life in which is amazing. Over my dead body, why let you stay the same? I am here today to tell you that you can change and have everything in you want in your life, from your relationships, to your children looking up to you, to being physically fit, and it's gonna be hard as but not making it, it's hard too. So what are we gonna do? Which heart are we gonna choose? Test days, how you wake up when the sun don't shine, when you just lost your best customers, when you're fighting with your wife, when you're broke, how you wake up on that day, know that's a test day, and give it all you fucking got. Don't ever let a test day break you. We're in the era of the biggest amateur in the history of time. People don't know how to talk. They don't know how to speak. They don't know how to articulate their words. They're complainers. They're whiners. They don't work hard. They don't take their family with them. They're consumed in their fucking phone. And they're little bitches. And they're all over. And this is where you guys, listen, this is where you guys today decide to fucking change. I want you to understand this. I want you to do something today. I want you to get your fucking edge back. Okay, I want you to, I want you to think what drives you, man?